Good morning, Wallace. Welcome to WART Morning News. I'm Josh Collins. It is February 19, 2013, and this is your World News. A, a new study revealed some interesting results where over 400 people with seasonal allergies received real or sham acupuncture, or it only took and it has to be as needed. Acupuncture may help improve seasonal or allergy symptoms in some people with runny noses and watery eyes, according to a new study, but the effect seems to be small. Researchers found 71% of people reported an improvement in their allergies after 8 weeks of acupuncture, but so did 56% of allergy sufferers who were treated with sham acupuncture instead of as a compromise previous studies a conflict on whether acupuncture may help relieve runny noses and other seasonal allergy symptoms. Researchers wrote Monday in Annuals of Internal Medicine. Acupuncture is generally considered safe, they noted. A typical season session goes for about $100 and is often not covered by health insurance. In other news, Brothers Win Lottery Accidentally Blow Up House. A drug-fueled celebration of a lottery and takes a disastrous twist. Wichita a police report. Police in Wichita, a Kansas City, say two brothers celebrating a $75,000 win lottery win by light up, up with drugs on Friday accidentally set off an explosion that blew up their house. The brothers decided to buy marijuana and meth with their lucky fortune from a scratch lottery ticket, police said. One of them went to the kitchen to refuel button lighters, but some of the flammable gas leaked into the air. The button vapor reached the pilot light in the furnace, and kaboom. The explosion sent one of the brothers to hospital for treatment of second-degree burns, and the other brother went to jail. Both brothers faced charges of drug possession, police told local media. And finally, Ohio State logo mistaken for marijuana leaf by police. A 65-year-old woman and her husband reported they were pulled over in Tennessee when police mistook a Buckeye bumper sticker for a pot leaf. According to a report, an Ohio State fan and her husband were driving through Tennessee when they were pulled over or because an Ohio State Buckeye a sticker on a car looked too much like a marijuana leaf. The 65-year-old Jonas Bugani lives in Palino, Texas, grew up in Columbus, and has served as an officer on the Dallas-Fort Worth Ohio State Alumina and Club Board of Directors. Jonas Bugani and her husband, Guido, 66, has been in Columbus to attend the funeral of Aguda's mother, the officers advised Jonas Bugani to remove the sticker from her car, which she has said she will not do. The Tennessee Highway Patrol and the Shelby County Sheriff's Office in Memphis told all dispatch that they had no information about the stop, and a spokeswoman for the West Tennessee Drug Tax Force said the sticker would not be a significant reason to stop the car. This has been your World News, and now over the tab with the weather. Thank you, Josh. Great information. Thank you for tuning in today, everyone. Let's get started by looking at some early morning conditions in the area. As of 6.55 a.m., over at the Warsaw Municipal Airport, the weather is overcast with a temperature of 23 degrees. The relative humidity is at 86% with winds out of the west by southwest at 22 miles per hour. The barometric pressure is 29.7 and the dew point is at 19 degrees. The wind till the day feels like it is 8 degrees and the visibility is about 7 miles. Now looking at some current local temperatures in the area we have a cart. South Bend, Goshen, Rochester, and La Grange are at 25 degrees.
and Warsaw is at 27 degrees. Now let's take a look at the next few days. Today it will be windy and cold with lake effects, no showers north of State Road 4 with flurries south. Our high for the day will be 24 degrees with winds out of the west blowing 15 to 30 miles per hour. Then tonight look for it to become breezy and cold with lake effects, no showers. The storm total snow accumulation could be between 2 to 5 inches north of south bend with the coating up to 2 inches south. Look for temperatures to drop to a low of 10 degrees tonight with winds out of the west by northwest blowing 12 to 22 miles per hour. Then by Wednesday we will still see some lake effect flurries along with the mix of sun, clouds, and cold. Look for the high to only reach about 22 degrees. Then in the evening look for the temperature to drop down in the low teens. Then on Thursday look for variably cloudy with light snow possible late. We will have a slight warm-up from the past couple of days with the high of about 30 degrees. As we take a look at the temperatures for the rest of the week, it looks like we will be warming up a little bit to the upper 30s and we may even get back to the 40s by next Monday. This wraps up your morning weather. I am Tap Cole. Have a safe and wonderful day, everyone. Now back to James at the news desk. James. Thank you, Tab, and thank you, OOC. The SRC semi-formal was a great evening of fun. Thank you, thank all of you who attended. The DJ said to tell you that you were awesome. Tickets are now on sale for OOC's spring musical, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Tickets are $6 for students and $8 for adults. All seats are reserved seating. You can purchase yours from Mrs. Thornburg before or after school. They will also be for sale at lunch soon. Buy them with your friends so you can sit together. Millie Cass Seniors. If you have not filled out a senior bio form for the program, please see Mrs. Bonner today for a form. She's subbing in Mr. Murphy's class upstairs. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Online scheduling will remain open through Friday, February 22nd at 3.15 p.m. Students, please make sure your requests are complete and you have entered six alternate courses as well. If you have requested to take a course that requires an application, please make sure that application is turned into the guidance office by Friday, February 22nd at 3.15. If you do not submit the application, you will not be scheduled for the course. Big Ten Virtual College Fair on February 28th from 2 to 10 p.m. This free online event can help you explore campus life athletic scholarships, degree programs, and research opportunities at high-ranking universities, including the University of Michigan, the Ohio State University, and Indiana University. You can log into College Week Life at any time before the event to receive a login and password. The goal of this event is to show students and the general public that there are more than just sports at the Big Ten schools. In fact, these universities are among the finest academic in institutions in the United States. Students and parents can log in anytime during the event to learn more about campus life, degree programs, athletic scholarships, research opportunities, and more. See the flyer posted on the bulletin board outside the guidance office. Congratulations to the following Mawasee High School Choral students who represented the school on Saturday at the Indiana State School Music Association State Contest at Perry Meridian High School in Indianapolis. Receiving a silver in Group 1 on their girls' trio were members Mackenzie Hare, Casey Shell, and Brittany Willis. Also receiving a silver placing on her solo was Delaney Brooks. Receiving gold placings on their vocal solos were Mackenzie Hare and Tristan Palmer. Congratulations to all of these students for their great representation of the choirs and Wawasee. Americanism and government test will be given by the American Legion post-253 on February 27th. All sophomores, juniors, and seniors are invited to take the test for possible scholarship money. To sign up and receive a study guide, please stop by Mrs. Meyer's room C-113 before February 26th. 
YA New Book Club, grades 6 through 12th, where book readers meet at the Syracuse Public Library, February 19th, Tuesday, from 5 to 6 p.m. We will always have a snack and get the first preview of the newest books. Bring a friend or make a friend. The following students have overdue LRC materials. Uh, Nizhoni Rhodes, Elizabeth Cl Clay, Brooke Fick, Jill Brooks, Joseph Shepard, Martin Munn, Story Bright, Brandon Arnold, Tyler Her Hurst, Kyle Weber, please return ASAP. Attention senior boys, it's that time of year again. It's the Big Wally Eating Contest at Penguin Point. We will ha have tryouts the first week in March and the top three eaters will compete as Wawasee Wally Eating Team against the other schools in their county. The winning team gets 200 towards their senior prom and will be awarded a huge trophy br for bragging rights. Please stop by Mrs. Miller's room, A159, to sign up. FFA Ag Issues practices tonight in the Ag Building. In sports news, all boys interested in golfing this spring season, there will be a short informational meeting on Thursday, February 21st at 3.10 p.m. in the PE classroom, C117. All boys are encouraged to attend. Football stat books are in the athletic office. All JV and varsity players, please stop and pick up yours up if you haven't already. And for today's lunch, choose one entree of a variety of sandwiches, salad plate that includes two protein cups, toppings, and two crackers, or beef and noodles, or a baked tenderloin sandwich. And then you can choose three sides, a side salad with toppings, fresh fruit, milk, mashed potatoes, or mixed fruit. For breakfast, each day we offer fresh fruit, Pop-Tarts, variety of cereals, granola bars, yogurt, and milk. Tomorrow, we ha will have a breakfast burrito. In the case of a two-hour delay, we will now serve breakfast, but no hot items. This is WART, Warrior News. I'm James Heath. Have a great day, Wawasee.